In today's Imperator Invictus A to Z, I try to migrate the tribe of Albania in the Caucasus all the way to modern day Albania. In doing so, we went to war with the largest powers in Greece and Macedon, raising many cities and even desecrating some of Hellenism's greatest temples. But ultimately, were we successful in forging a new homeland for Albania in Albania? Well, stay tuned to find out. So here we are back in A to Z, guys, as Albania. Albania is a migratory tribe located in the northeast of the Caucasus up here. It has Albanian heritage, which gives unintegrated culture group happiness and fort maintenance, monthly political influence as well. Of course, we are a migratory tribe. Armazic is our religion, which gives population capacity, minus research points, and plus 5% fort defense. The culture of Albanian gives heavy infantry, archers, horse archers, and light infantry, so quite a good split in terms of the culture. And we start with about 154 pops, 72 of which are Albanian. So here we are on the map, guys, and the goal for today is to move Albania to modern-day Albania. So we're looking at Taulantia, basically over here um <laughs> this is going to be interesting guys now of course as a migratory tribe we can up sticks and get going but i think what we're going to do first is conquer a little bit around this region and then basically migrate our way down the coast when we get to macedon that's where it gets really really interesting <laughs> and full disclosure guys I do not normally play Migratory Tribes, so if you're looking for full meta gameplay in this video, that is not going to happen. But if you are looking for someone to fall flat on their face and be entertaining, then this should be a good video for you. <laughs> first things first, let's get our ideas of morale recovery and, of course, morale of armies. And our Romans at the start, guys, are genuinely just not very good, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, we aren't going to change any out, though, because we need to stack stability in order to do our migrations later down the line. So for now, let's just go for population happiness i guess let's get some step horses for that horse archer discipline and let's take our mission guys albanian greatness ages ago when the world was young and the gods walked the face of the earth the warrior arhan once traversed through the caucasus mountains on his way to the vast steppes and where his footsteps touched the ground there our people remained and stayed we are sons of arhan the genial albanians for our reputation as a good-natured and peaceful people is a well-deserved one perhaps to our shame for we were once unable to resist the Achaemenid who meddled in our affairs with a brazen contempt for our sovereignty that was humiliating but times have changed and there are no they are no longer uh, they are no more and here we stand we find ourselves at a crossroads shall we embrace our native roots or pursue after the Achaemenid tradition well let's start the mission guys and I it is a really really nice mission tree I've had a look through this but we aren't going to be able to do many missions with the uh, with the stuff that we are going to be doing today so let's take this one first though a step on on the road of trade we get we lose 100 gold and 50 influence but we get commerce income military roads and two innovate innovations as well as a bit of a road in our land so let's get that in terms of the innovations guys honestly i think we're just going to go for census data initially it's going to be ages before we get that third innovation so uh let's just go for census data i know it sounds a bit weird but those extra freemen are going to be extra meat in the army when we uh when we take chapala and uh go i don't i mean this mission tree like i've said has some amazing modifiers and is really really good guys it gives you roads it gives you population and basically sets you on the road for centralization but um yeah well, we're not doing any of that unfortunately <laughs> right then guys let's press play and then we are going to spy on iberia and see if we can take them out in the meantime let's get an alliance with armenia let's get all our provinces on cultural assimilation any tiny little bit of extra population of our primary culture will really help out so um yeah let's do that god damn it armenia has thirty thousand troops over here and they are just levies there's no mercenaries involved in that so i'm glad we got uh, an alliance with these guys early on <laughs> well there's armenia calling us into that war i think we're going to ignore that <laughs> and let's go for our claim we'll call armenia in not that they're really going to help because they are themselves in a bit of a war but hopefully we can win this especially with our horse archers well there we go there goes the capital armenia has actually helped us out quite a bit in this uh, this war so far <laughs> even though they have 
you know, the war with Atropatine going on. So thank you, Armenia. That is uh, very, very helpful of you. Well, there we go. Iberia is out. So uh, let's just take as much land as we can. We basically just want to be bordering these guys over here. That's all we want. So glorious. We can give Armenia something, but I don't feel like doing that. They're already strong enough. <laughs> and once we get the chance, guys, we're going to start stacking the minor centralization uh, by coming down some of these over here. Some of the better ones like national tax over this way. We do need, of course, political influence for that. And we are losing quite a bit of stability already. But um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is going to be a long, long uh, game to, to get all the way across here. And there's another mission, guys. A capital in Kabbalah, which basically gives us nobles, citizens, and freemen as well, which is fantastic. Well, guys, let's go after Colchis, giving us a coast and allowing us to pop down the coast if we can. That's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, and basically after that, we're just going to let our centralization tick down a lot. I mean, we don't need to do this by migrating, of course, but I just thought it'd be quite fun to migrate um, a few of the pops. Right, let's get into the war. Oh, and the battle isn't going too well, but we did win. That is good. That is good to know that we can beat... Again, I think these guys are Hellenic, right? No, they're Armazaic. Okay, Colchian as well. I thought these guys would be Hellenic. I'm assuming a lot of this land is Hellenic. Yeah, it is. And Armenia just comes in with their 25k troops. <laughs> nice. Ooh, and we won the siege there, guys. That is good. Armenia just doesn't really know what it wants to do right now. I don't want to take too many battles here, but um, hopefully Armenia is going to give us a bit of a hand uh, along the way. And for all of the help of Armenia, guys, they, they're not transferring this land to us because Lesser Armenia, I believe, is their uh, satrapy. Ah, oh, dearie me, dearie me. That's that's not nice, Armenia, you know? That, that's not nice. That should be our land, really. But, uh, oh well, at least we can now get a coast on the Black Sea. Well, there we go. We now spread across all of the Caucasus, pretty much, apart from this little bit up here. And, yeah, we're basically just looking now to come down the coast, take on a few of these guys. Unfortunately, they're outside our diplomatic range, though. These guys aren't, though. Kukonia? They've got an alliance with those boys. Okay. Well, I think that's what we'll go for. Let's also go for adopting human sacrifice, guys. So uh, there we go. That's good. And then we'll go for for the common good next when we get minus 10. Well then, guys, on to our next target over here. They're going to bring in these guys and these guys. I think we're going to be okay. Apparently, we are no longer allied with Armenia. They broke their alliance with us. <sighs> that's annoying because they probably took those two pieces out. Iberia, and I joined that war for them as well, but uh, <laughs> let's, let's ignore that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's not worry about Armenia for now and uh, go for this. And for every single one of these events from one clan to another, all that sort of thing, we are just losing centralization, which is fantastic. So that's going to allow us now to go for the common good and keep on making that centralization negative. Minus 5% uh, migration cost. So when it's at 100%, guys, migration cost will be down to 50, which will be fantastic. And their ships are trying to get around us, so uh, let's go and engage them. Oh, my, uh, <laughs> my maintenance is on low because it did tank our economy, but... <laughs> I think we won that, so that's okay. And let's take this little piece of land here as well, guys. Let's banish as well to get rid of some of our aggressive expansion. And we can get our first military tradition, guys. Um, honestly, none of these are really very helpful at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, the Anatolian one was... We do have archers, so maybe we should probably go for that one, I think, because we do actually have archers, but... None of them are useful. <laughs> Ooh, and we actually lost a battle. That is not really very good for us. We might get stack wiped here, guys. Ah, uh, we didn't get stack wiped. We didn't get stack wiped. Okay, that's that's okay. Let's just get our morale back and uh, calm down a little bit. Well, this is going to be close. I'm hoping we re maintain the fort here. And uh, oh, are we going to win? I think we're just about going to win. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. And I think let's not worry about Mariandinia over here. Let's just take what we can get at the moment, which is not much. 
but it is extra diplomatic range, isn't it? Well, I think, guys, the only thing we can really do is fabricate a claim over here. Unfortunately, everyone, of course, in Greece is protected by Macedon or the Ptolemies or something like that. But, uh, oh, can we get all the way over to Crete? Oh, we actually can. That's, that is fantastic if we can do that. That is amazing. Let's, uh, let's fabricate a claim on Knossos. Well, I've deleted the fort over here, guys. Built a port, so hopefully we have a little bit more naval range. But, um, yeah, we're gonna get onto Sparades over here. I'm slightly worried because the Gnossian Revolt has fired. And I'm assuming, therefore, that all of Knossos' troops are over here. I don't know how many troops they have. <laughs> they could just absolutely destroy us in this first battle and then we lose the war. But um, let's see. Well, it doesn't actually look too bad. So uh, we're going to go for it. I mean, Macedon is going to come in, guys. But if we can just, like, basically just sit over here and do nothing else, that is what we're going to do. <laughs> and, of course, the Bosporan Kingdom have now declared war on us. Um... Let's raise the rest of our levies, but I don't think that's going to be enough to do much. I mean, honestly, like, what do they want? Ab Abs Abascoy over here, which I'm assuming is that. What if we just gave that to you? They would take a piece for just giving them Abascoy. Honestly, I think we just do that, guys. That is not the, uh, the play for us today to be fighting the Bosporan Kingdom. And our ships got beaten, guys, so we are literally just here now. Um... So hopefully we can take it. And, you know, Macedon was busy. They are still at war with the Ptolemies. So, and another law that we can take, guys. Power to the mighty. Making our centralization go down even quicker. Fantastic. Oh, and look at that spicy, uh, spicy fleet over here for the Ptolemies. That is rather large, isn't it, guys? There we go. We've won the Siege of Rhodes, guys. That is fantastic. Let's go. And I've just noticed that Apollonia over here, which is a city that is uncolonized, guys, um, is free. So we could maybe do something spicy about that. Like, um, once we're out of this war, if we pop this or one of the regions that has, you know, less people... Like, over here, for example, maybe we'll be able to get these guys. Um, we can maybe go and settle that already. So, let's see. And now we have six war scores. So, we basically just need to wait either for an enforced peace or, yeah, until we get plus ten war score. They're already on medium. So, uh, yeah, we need ten war score, of course, to offer. It's 18 war score for this area so oof, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be close and there we go Rhodes is ours my friends Rhodes is ours that is kind of glorious so let's take this area it's gonna destroy our stability I'm gonna take these 4k troops and um hopefully not get killed and just go and sit there and see what happens and while we're here let's uh let's raise a city and we've got a war of independence against us in Tuaion over here, guys. I really don't mind that too much. Uh, we'll go and sort them out. First things first, though, guys. Let us settle Apollonia Epidamnon. That is now our city over here. Um, <laughs> and it is half Albanian and half Armazic already. I am going to relocate our capital here at some point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is that is pretty glorious. It's not great to have a, a city, though. I mean, should we just get this down to a settlement? I think that would be better. So, yeah, let's just get this as a settlement for now. That should be able to keep them a little bit happier. And Macedon isn't looking too healthy. Look at that, guys. And there we go. We have defeated our little revolt over here as well. Good. Nice, guys. Now, I think it's just a case of uh, ticking our centralization down. And then we're going to try and migrate this whole province all at once. We'll sack a load of cities along the way. Get to Macedon. Declare war on them. Take out um, Epirus and just as much land as we can. And now we can get closed society as well. Fantastic. Oh, and Armenia wants another alliance. Wow, wow, wow. 
I wonder why that might be. Let's uh, let's just accept for now. I am trying to get an alliance with uh, the Seleucids and, and Thrace as well. I mean, the Seleucids would be fantastic, but whether they can help us over here, I don't know. Thrace definitely could, though. And there we just got a load of uh, wars of independence against us, guys. So we are going to call in... Armenia in this as well and hopefully we can get rid of these guys quite quickly. Well this is proving to be an incredibly annoying war to fight. I mean poor Armenia is doing their best but uh yeah I mean there's not much else we can really do and we need to just gather food all the time because only this one person has uh has any supply so yes it's not the best. We can actually sell step horses to Rome. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that. <laughs> Have some of our horses, bro. Mm, that is another consideration, though, isn't it, guys? If we get it, we could definitely get attacked. <laughs> so they've only got claims on Macedon at Bylis over here, but yeah, Rome is definitely gonna be a factor later on, I would say. <laughs> oh, and we got absolutely ruined by uh, by the boys over there. That is not good for us. Well, it'll allow us to regroup a little bit, but. Yeah, I really do want this coast here still because we have a lot of land spread around the Mediterranean that otherwise we can't really get to. <laughs> there we go. Let's go for our final law, guys. Honor in battle. Morale of armies and monthly war exhaustion. Fantastic. Oh my god, this war is going on forever, guys. Basically because Armenia has just decided that they don't need to take part anymore. Thank you. Because we have a 100% war score. But we can't peace out because we haven't sieged down this area over here. And we are so slow at sieging. Yep, yeah, horse archers are not good in sieges, guys. Who would have guessed? <laughs> there we go. Finally. 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 <laughs> uh, why did we get aggressive expansion for that? That was that was all our land to start with, wasn't it? <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> now, guys, as you can see, because we're basically at minus 100 centralization, we can uh, migrate for four stability. So we could get 10 migrations in here right now and i would do it on the, the the areas with the highest population of course but uh yeah let's uh let's try and pump up pump up our stability a little bit uh, and then we'll see what we can do we could really do with some stability events here please i just want to get to 50 like we have such low stability it's on the positive though guys we've got 6.81 percent research efficiency generating 1.4 monthly research <laughs> I mean, we could boost that up. We definitely could, but um, I'm not wasting money on this area. We're leaving it. <laughs> oh, my days, guys. And we got an innovation, probably spawned in by one of these polymaths. Oh, fantastic. More population for migration. Let's go. And Epirus has uh, declared war on us, guys. Um, that's kind of interesting. I'm wondering whether we just get, like, some mercenaries. I... I feel like Epirus is not going to have that many troops. We've got 110 population, though. Well, how? Whether whether this, this guy can win, I don't know, but let, let's see. And unfortunately, we're just going to die. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We need to run. Yeah, we're, we're going to get stack wiped here. So they have 3.5k. So at least we know that. And uh, we can get some of our guys together to go and deal with them. And this Armenian civil war is just very annoying. I mean, we, I've not done anything. Like, I've not joined it at all but yeah I, I, it's a mess like look at that like <laughs> I, just, I don't even want to look at that and now our naval leader is somewhat for some reason just gotten like majorly disloyal so I, I don't really know we're gonna have to bring him to trial i think and that didn't work ah <laughs> oh dear oh dear well the only thing i can think to do guys is to recruit a mercenary navy so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. I mean, it's, I'm going to try and assassinate the guy, but no guarantee that that is going to work. Oh, finally, let's uh, let's land back and take our land back. <laughs> let's see how we do against the Epirotes here. I'm not sure we're going to do amazingly well, but uh, I don't think we'll do terribly either. Let's see. Here we go. Um, we, we are crushing them. Fantastic. Very nice. Well, I'm not sure Epirus saw this one coming. And, I mean, we might as well take take the land. That makes us into a major power as well. Um, <laughs> we haven't taken Albania back yet, though, guys. And, yeah, I would very, very much like to do our migration very soon. But, um, 
Yeah, we're just stuck in this goddamn Armenian civil war, which is uh, just infuriating. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, we definitely have been rather lucky. This might be famous last words, but rather lucky so far <laughs> that Rome has decided to go into Gaul early rather than dealing with us or Syracuse or anything like that. So <laughs> fingers crossed that, that keeps on going for a little while yet. <laughs> oh, and finally, this war is over, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, it took so long. <laughs> it took so long. Well, then we do have 63 stability, my friend. So we're going to go via the population map mode. And we're just going to start spamming this. There we go. 10k troops from there. Uh, and we can get two. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. That's 13k troops. We're going to do that. And we're just going to keep going through the highest population areas that are our culture, of course, because... Remember, guys, like, these areas over here, like, they are not majority Albania. Although, there are a few, actually. So, hmm. Like, how many is that? 5k? That's okay. Well, there we go. We've basically taken all of the land out of here. We're going to move down the coast. We're going to sack a load of cities as we move down this coast. And then we're probably going to sack a load of cities in Greece as well. <laughs> so... Let's go and have some fun. And it actually made our capital over here at uh, Pasaron, which is quite funny, but <laughs> that means that this province is always going to be loyal. So we can just do whatever we want with Epirus now. <laughs> Ultimately, though, it is very, very close to the modern day borders of Albania, where that is basically cuts across here next to Corfu. So, it's not too bad, actually. I think it rather fits. Well, guys, there we go. We've got 60,000 light infantry. <laughs> oh, my horde. I'm not going <laughs> to Let's split them in half. Um, yeah, we'll split them in half and then... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get moving down the coast. Well, I think we'll pillage over here to start with. Gives us a bit of political influence and money because we are losing money at the moment. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep on going. <laughs> let's raise this city as well. Very nice. And um, I don't want to do too many in the same area because, of course, they can basically uh, declare war on you if you do that. So I think, honestly, let's just get into Thrace. And now let's raise Sinop as well. And that has actually put us to war with Galatia. Ah. Ah. <laughs> not, not not specifically ideal i would say <laughs> and we actually can nearly peace out which is uh, quite good but we might be able to take this opportunity to uh, gather a bit of food for our men as well well there we go we can actually white peace let's let's just do that <laughs> there's no point uh, messing around here and we can actually raise this should we <laughs> this is so fun let's just keep on doing it I'm assuming uh, they're very high still at the minute, but they've just disbanded their levies. So surely they can't, like, bring them all back straight away. <laughs> and we can just roam around getting some more food. Ah, oh, some of them have come back already. Right, let's continue our march. Now we know that we can only, like, sack one city at a time, which kind of sad, really, isn't it? But uh, let's go sack Pella. <laughs> and now we have no food. This is, uh, this is not good. Um... <laughs> We we kind of need to, to get across to our land and get some food. Let's uh, raise that. Oh, and now Thrace has declared war on us. Uh, oh, dear. They, they don't like it, do they? <laughs> they really don't like this. At least it gives us a chance to get some food. So <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. And while we're in the war, we might as well just keep on raiding their cities. I mean, no point not to, right? <laughs> And a couple more cities raided there. Let's go. <laughs> and they'll accept a white piece now. Good, 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 good. Because we were losing a lot of men. I think we we do have 80 food though now. Um, I'm just slightly worried, you know. I think if we go raiding these guys, they will all just declare war on us straight away. And okay, a lot of them are actually just allied in there. So maybe we can raid some of these guys. Let's go. And that's allowed us to get some uh, advances. <laughs> the problem is most of these cities actually have forts. So as usual with the Peloponnese. So we need to find ones that don't have a fort. And 
To be honest, there's not many of them. Let's set raise Ellis, guys. There we go. And that actually put us to war with these guys. You know, this is a very good way of just taking land. Like, just keep calling these guys in. <laughs> Poor guys. <laughs> we called into about 100 wars. Uh, how many people are we at war with? Why don't we just take it? Like, it is giving us aggressive expansion doing this, but I don't really care. <laughs> well, there's a Delphi one. And uh, yeah, let's let's raise it. Why, <laughs> why not, guys? Why not? This is hilarious. Like, <laughs> this is really fun. It's kind of stupid, but I, I love it. <laughs> the big problem with this, guys, is we're losing so many men to uh, attrition. Yeah, let's uh, let's desecrate Olympia. <laughs> Raise another city. It is genuinely an obscene amount to take these because it's a show superiority war. So I don't think we will take anything. Let's uh, just sue for peace. I mean, we could make them a subject, but... How much aggressive expansion is that? It's not much, actually. It's not much. So let's make the Achaean League our subject. <laughs> and look at the Thracian Revolt, boys. Um, I think that might be the uh, the next little play that we want to do. Because, of course, they are a revolt. So <laughs> it's going to be quite funny if we... Uh, yep, we've gone to war straight away with them. <laughs> let's keep going. And we've raised Larissa, Ferai, and Pharsalos. <laughs> this is just silly. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I think at this point we've like raised like half of Greece. <laughs> oh, th this is just glorious. I mean, we have no stability. We've got loads of aggressive expansion, but um, <laughs> it's it's just silly, isn't it? It's just fun. <laughs> Do we go for the Asian Kingdom as well? Um, I mean that would allow us to raid Pella. So, I, I mean, why why not? <laughs> There we go. That's straight into war. Let's go and raid them. <laughs> Just keep on raiding them. <laughs> there we go again. Let's go and raid Pella once we've uh, once we've taken it down. There's another one. And uh, let's go for Chalkis. There we go. There we go. Poor, like, Greece. <laughs> like, I feel bad for them at this point. <laughs> well, a few more cities. Let's raise uh, Pella. <laughs> Can we desecrate this holy site as well? I mean, we've got a lot of aggressive expansion, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's uh, let's raise Thessalonica. There we go. <laughs> just so good. Let's just take a uh, white piece with these guys now. I think the war with the uh, Thracian Revolt will just have to wait for a little bit. Let's take a ritual sacrifice. I actually don't know what this does. Okay, we can get zealous, pious, and devout. Oh, nice. And of course, I'm not actually bothered about fighting the Thracian Revolt. Hopefully, we can piece them out at some point. But yeah, I, I don't think for a while. Uh, this is this is where like the Bosporan Kingdoms all the way up here. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll uh, we'll go and deal with that, I guess. Well, hopefully we can push them back. Of course it's a uh, superiority war, so obviously battles matter a lot more than occupations or they should do. Anyway, yeah, it's show superiority. Well, that was rather fun, guys. And I think we're, what we're going to do, we're going to settle in Pasaran over here. It does have a large amount of population. Of course, it is our capital. So if we settle these guys in here, 23 migrants into Pasaron. It's quite a lot of tribesmen, so hopefully, uh, we can't even declare war on Macedon, by the way, because, uh, we need 20 stability, so, yeah, I do think it is better to, uh, to settle these guys wherever we can. Well, we got another technology, guys, so, uh, let's go down Fetials and go to Defending Liberty, because we need to get rid of some of that, uh, AE. Ah, uh, now because our leader died, guys, all of these guys are pretty much disloyal now, which really doesn't help. I think if we win this one, guys, we will get some ticking war score. So let's hope we win. Yes, we now have ticking war score. Fantastic. Let's go. And there we go. We can finally get out of this war. Whew. That was tough. <laughs> that was really, really tough. I think, honestly, now, guys, uh, we chill for a little bit, try and get plus 20 stability, which is going to be difficult with that much aggressive expansion. Invade Macedon take Albania. So what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is releasing some of these really unhappy areas like over here. Like if we release that into a client state um, and then we do the same again with a few other people and just see what that looks like. Like, there we go. Oh god, what have, what have we done to our nation? <laughs> what have we done to our poor, poor nation? 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This is this is what I said at the start, guys. I'm not like meta gaming on uh, on this anyway on migratory tribes. Like I don't know the meta like what was best to do. Uh, ideally, obviously, you probably want to abandon everything and then go, but um, uh, we unfortunately didn't have this ability to do so. But yeah, let's let's take Albania at least. Well, Macedon actually declared war on us. Um, that's rather interesting. Uh, I don't think they've got too many troops, but uh, I'm wondering if we could just get, say, like this mercenary. Yeah, let's just do that and just get them out of here so they don't get killed straight away. Macedon, that's silly of you, I'm not going to lie. Well, here's Macedon's army. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, it's just, what was the point of that, Macedon? Like, why? <laughs> they brought in Sparta and Delphi as well. Ah. Ah, uh, well, don't tell me I'm going to have to raise your cities again, guys. And unfortunately, guys, because Rhodes is disloyal, we are no longer in range of these guys, so we're just going to have to let them go. I mean, that's fine. I I'm not really bothered about that, but and there is Delphi siege down. I wonder how much AE it is to take Delphi. It would just be quite funny to take it, just because, like, it's the whole, like, main holy site of all these um, Hellenic people around here. How much is it? It's two. Um, Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, isn't that glorious, guys? Look at that. Isn't that glorious? <laughs> and we got an innovation. Fantastic. Let's go for aggressive expansion change. And the funny thing is, because we did settle down over here so much, like Epidamnos, like there's a lot of uh, like Albanians over here as well, which is... Uh, Fantastic. I mean, I don't think we'll be able to keep this place loyal. Slaves of Rhodes are revolting. Um, 13 and a half thousand. We don't even have any ships anymore. <laughs> well, we can actually just walk all the way there. So uh, let's see if we can beat these peasants. Well, here we go. We are going across the strait. Yep, that was victory. Glorious. Honestly, guys, though, I am thinking of just like grabbing a couple more of our population maybe three more let's uh let's have a look for another good one like this one there we go we'll gather all these boys together we're gonna send them across to albania over here and settle them in epidamnos let's do another ritual sacrifice as well may the gods bless us well, Rhodes is leading a revolt against us so i guess we'll We'll use our migratory army there instead. Well, Greater Armenia has uh, kind of declared war on us now as well, guys. Honestly, like... Like, it's... it's We can get rid of some of this land. I, I, I don't really need this land anymore. That, that's what you take, is it? Yeah, I, I have it. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> Just don't care anymore. We've got a new homeland. Oh, I hate it when the revolts spawn forts. Like, why? <laughs> That's so annoying. Go away. Well, there we go. Let's uh, retake Rhodes. I do care about Rhodes because, yeah, Rhodes is cool, you know? It's cool having Rhodes and the Colossus and everything. Our people, we, we really like it. We really do like it. So, um, oh my god, 35 corruption. No siree. No siree. Eight statesmanship. Sounds perfect to me, bro. <laughs> well, guys, let's uh, flood Epidamnos with tribesmen. There we go. 20 population. 20 tribesmen in there. They are going to be uh, running away <laughs> all around our lands very, very soon. And there we go. We just sold our last two provinces over in uh, the Caucasus to the Bosporan Kingdom. So our migration is fully, fully complete, guys. Whether it was successful or not, that is for you to judge down in the comments down below. But we did successfully do the challenge of migrating from Albania to Albania. Um, <laughs> whether this is survivable or not after this point, I have no idea. Definitely didn't metagame this at all. Didn't play this well in in many facets of the game. But um, yeah, it's, it's a struggle. Once you start migrating, guys, it is a massive struggle to get your stability back up. And we just took, ultimately took too much aggressive expansion. I would have taken a lot less um, if I'd known how hard it would have been to get our stability back up. But now we have a new homeland, of course. A new homeland. Can we actually move the uh, the capital? No, we need uh, we need dominant. Oh, it's so close, bro. I think 
it's technically successful. Whether it was fully successful or not, I have no idea. Hopefully, though, it was entertaining. And if it was entertaining, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. We're on the road to 5,000, and we're nearly there. So, uh, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, make sure you do comment down below what we're going to do for the next one, which is the Indian nation here. I forget its name exactly, but... Uh, <laughs> comment down below we might just do a standard one for that but let's uh but let's see thank you for watching guys and i'll see you all again on the next video and once again massive thank you to the channel members david cowie and pascal if you're interested in supporting the channel guys there's a link down in the description below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month but anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all again on the next video